So the first one we're going to be showing you with is using a comb. So I'm going to secure the comb onto a teardrop base. So you're going to use a needle and thread for this. Don't use glue because if you glue it on, as soon as you have to lift it for it to secure into your hair, the glue won't hold it and the actual piece will pop off. And also if you use glue, it'll come through the front and it'll actually show damage on the front of your piece. So you're just gonna get your needle and thread. You're going to double your thread and secure it with a knot at the base. I'm just using white thread so that you can actually see the stitching that I'm using onto it. But if you were stitching it onto your piece, use the same colour as whatever your base is. So you're going to start by just bringing it through the first tooth, which is just here. I'm just going to pop that onto the base, into the position where you want it to sit. I'm just going to bring a needle and thread up and through. Now it hasn't secured anything by doing that, but just to show you then from the front, I'm going to bring it back in on top of the actual comb. I'm going to repeat the process through to the first tooth of the comb back through again and under. So you can see I've just looped it from the top to the bottom and I'm going to repeat that process a few times. Bringing it through the top. So you can see from the front you can see your stitching but if you're using your colour to be identical to the base that will hardly show up and also you'll have all your pieces put on top so you won't be able to see any of the detailing as well. I'm just going to bring it through again. The more stitches you do, the more secure your piece is, the better it'll hold for you. So what I'm going to show you now is that I'm just going to, to create the first one here. Next I'm just going to create a little side one, which is like an L shape. So we're going to bring it through to the front here. And in. And through. And in. Through again. And true one more time. Right. So you can see from the front again, you have the little L of your thread stitching. You could do that a little bit tidier, and also in the same colour, you wouldn't be able to pick up on it. And from the back now, we've done an L shape, which means that your piece can still lift, secure it into your hair, but it's absolutely secure there. So what you can use is you can cut off your threads. Just use your tread doubles so you'd be able to separate the two treads and just notch your tread. Secure it with about four or five ties just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And then you're going to repeat the same process on the opposite side as well, doing a backwards L. So you've only had to secure it from two points, and at that point it will still be able to lift to allow you to secure it into your hair. So you can see now I have the other side on as well, so that's just secured your hairband on. You cook your comb on. It can still lift as well, which means you can secure it into your hair appropriately as you need to, and sliding it in. So next, just to finish it off, to secure it that bit more, I'd wait until you have all your finishings on top done, and once you have all of that done and your piece completed, maybe something like this, and you have your comb attached on, after that then we're just going to finish it here by putting a layer of Petersham across. You can buy this in store, it's called Curved Petersham. So you're just going to measure the lengths, just cut off our edges to straighten it. And then just using the glue gun, you're just going to run your glue along your Peter Sham. And as I said earlier, your glue lasts for about five or six seconds before it starts to dry. So just make sure you know where you want to place it. I'm just going to run the Peter Sham along the hairband. So also it covers up all your stitching from earlier. And then once that's dry, it's ready to wear. And your hairband will lift, your comb will lift up and secure into the piece perfectly.